7.30 in the a.m. Good morning, good morning. We are on the road again, as you can see. Uh, we are searching for yard sales and garage sales, and we're going to hit uh, our new favorite yard sale store in Salisbury. If you saw the video last week, that's what that was. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, I would like to address something. So I stopped at a yard sale uh, a couple of days ago and, uh, you know, I stop in, I talk to them, I let them know what I do, blah, blah, blah. And I bought some items from them that I started reselling. And they on the marketplace and on eBay and this person just happened to be in the same marketplace selling group that I am and man she went off on me I gave you deals and you go ahead and resell it and all of that blah 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 so I am a reseller that's what I do yes I collect certain items for myself but I'm a reseller so if I get something from you I'm most likely going to resell it uh, if I don't want it. Uh, so number one, that was number one. Number two is, so now with that being said, I got all that covered up for whoever sees my videos and wants to yell at me. Uh, let's go digging, let's go picking, let's go hunting, yeah. All right, so we've been following these yard sale signs for a while now. Uh, we saw a big yard sale sign so hopefully we can find this giant i think it's on this road here but i haven't seen any uh other signs or anything yet but we'll see this might be it right here I see somebody pulled over uh, oh yeah there's a couple of cars pulled over so this gotta be it let's turn around oh yeah here we go oh this is a big one oh this is a big one nice What's up? Football. What do I like? Yeah. Baseball. But not for the games. The games, I, I take yeah. them for anything. My kid likes to play games, so I take them for anything. Did you see the other ones over there? I didn't realize I was Couple of questions, Vanessa, when you're free. You don't see that often. And it has the pieces. Oh, that's okay. Don't do no, I don't see any. No. That's what, I think that's what I want to do with this. I don't see any pieces in there. Okay. Let's see this one. Yeah, Oh, I'm 
Jesus, I got so much stuff here. I'm sorry? No, none at all. Oh, they are selling Harley shirts? I thought you said, am I selling any Harley shirts? Oh, I thought she said, are you? I'm like, yeah, you could sell mine. When I walked up, I asked her if anything in here was set for sale. She says, oh, I don't know. So while she's out there busy, we're gonna peek around in here, see what we can see. Uh, I really don't see much in here. That would be fantastic if what it fits that? me. What is it coming to America? You can walk around right, with right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me get her doing that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Sassy, baby. Sassy. <laughs> you can tell your flea market and all of that. That's right. Yeah, they want people in it. Welcome to Venezia's Tribe. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Where you can find everything and more. Do you got a zebra at your house? I do. 
Welcome to the Poconos, where you see shit you like you've never seen before. <laughs> right. Where's your flea market? My flea market is at 33 in Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. It's called the Blue Ridge Flea Market. Come on down and hit up the Poconos. There Let's you go. You. We'll be there. Right. We'll be there. Look at the turtle. You gotta take that turtle for Aubrey. No, There's my pile. Thank you. I got the old fun. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Games, or like no, those are I'm all sold out of everything right now. I do a lot of video games, so um, uh, he just bought that. And what other one of the books? They're interesting. I don't know if they're all, but they're all. Where'd you get that? I'm gonna get this from. Uh, uh, they got me. They got me this one for Christmas for family. I don't even oh, know where they got this one. Yeah, I, I don't know. Which, I don't. I, don't know I think this was sixty-five. Yeah. Sixty-five. I think that's right. Did you ever see that Jerry Seinfeld one where Together. they yep. unwrap the toys? He has special toys and he can unwrap them and then someone made him play with them. And 60, 67. That includes that controller in there plus the five that you put in there. 67. Perfect. Nice. Yes. Let me get you a bag. All right. We are back at our favorite little uh, yard sale store, Salisbury Indoor Flea Market. So let's go check it out. Well, hello. hello. How are you? Right. I'm back to do a little shopping. Good. Yes. Hello. How are you? Hey. How's everything? I know, he was telling me outside. He said, try it on your phone because yeah. his is a cheap phone, so. Yeah. We'll look at it. We'll give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, last week, uh, <laughs> it was a spur of the moment stopping, so this yeah. time I want to do some shopping. Well, this is what you... I want to 
to see your bicycles in the driveway. I want to see your scooters laying in the dirt. I want to see you dirty. I want to see. I want to see you climbing a tree. Right. I want to see you outside. Good wood. Go no, no. And why he enjoys it, but yeah, we just had a dog. We had a long-haired. Yeah, yeah I brought a bike to her. Yeah. Plastic. Plastic. I got those Hot Wheels on the wall of yours? Yeah. No. If I buy all of them, would you take a quarter a piece? No. Uh, quarter, no. 50 cents? Yeah. 50 cents a piece? They're, most of them are 99 cents each. Yeah. They're old ones. I think it's not like people. A dollar a piece for all of them? That's what they're sold for. That's what you're selling them for right now. A dollar a piece. Huh? That's the old price. That's the old price? Yeah. Oh, so it's not the, that's not the right price? Okay. Do you want me to help you? Yeah, I'll show you the YouTube thing right now. Yeah. Do you have any idea how frustrating that is? I'm sure. <laughs> I, Jimmy, uh, JR was like, I can't do it. I was, so I just sent him the link. And he says, the link's yeah, not working. I just can't. Okay. I just gotta look at this. Okay. Good on the videos. I do it to have fun. So it's, no, it's okay. not like what you guys watch all the time. Okay. Uh, but... Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in a couple yeah, of weeks. Watch out for those comic books for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you never know. All right, we got a nice little haul. Again, got all those matchbox cars that that guy was fighting me with. But All right, JR. Man, those ladies are tough to deal with in there. <laughs> Holy shit. They're tough in there. I showed her how to work the YouTube. All right, so not a bad day so far. Uh, we stopped off at that amazing yard sale. They had everything. 
uh, Miss Vanessa and Aunt Amanda. And then uh, we went over to the yard sale store and we went to go see JR. Uh, we picked up a lot of items. Uh, we got some good deals uh, for that we can flip. Uh, when I was in the... Uh, in one mile, turn right onto Pennsylvania 115. When I was in JR's store, there was an older gentleman in there and we started talking and uh, he knew this guy that sells a lot of the stuff that I'm looking for. Uh, he gave me, you know, directions to his place. I'm on my way there now. The only thing is he said he's not there all the time. So we'll see. Hopefully we can stop in another place real quick. Well, unfortunately, that lead didn't go through. Uh, there was nobody there. The guy warned me, said that he's hardly ever there. But I figured I'd uh, stop by and see if he was. So we're on our way back now. We are going to go through everything that we have picked up and uh, see what we got. Maybe we'll find something else. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, I was actually surprised to see a yard sale and damn what a yard sale Vanessa put up there. Uh, so hopefully we can find something else. All right, we'll see you guys shortly. All right, so here's the Hot Wheels we picked up. So let's check them out. Here, these cars are individually at $2 a piece. These here are individually at $5 a piece. These here are $10 a piece. And this is 20 bucks. Okay, so we have 20 bucks. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 here. On the $5 ones, we have a 23. So that comes out to 115. And on the $2 ones, we have 30. So which comes out to 60 bucks for a total of $235 just in Hot Wheels. All right, a couple more little things we picked up from the store. So we did the Matchbox cars. Uh, we got a couple Xbox games. We got a nice vintage tin. And we got this jar of uh, vintage... Uh, baseball and football helmets. So here we're looking at a $35 bill. Uh, five, 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 and five. So we got 55 bucks right here. Okay, here's a little bit of what we picked up at the yard sale with Amanda. So we're going to go over this as well. This is just a little bit. We still have a couple more boxes. All right, here we go with the presidential spoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven spoons here. They're all averaging from eleven to fifteen dollars each. These two spoons here are twenty dollars each. So we've got a hundred and fifty dollars worth of spoons if we sell all these for ten dollars and these for two dollars uh i'm undecided on how i'm going to sell them just as yet if i'm going to sell them as a lot or individually these are presidential pewter franklin mint spoons all right so now we're going to look at these here we have the spawn zombie figure uh, NIB, new in the box, 25 bucks. We have the uh, starting lineup, football, 16 bucks. We have the spawn goddess, 25 bucks. And we have the art of spawn wander, $35. Now it's time to dig through this box of Xbox games. Very excited to see what we have in here. All right, so we went over the games and stuff that we got. Uh, we found 20 PlayStation 2 games, four Xbox 360 games, 11 Xbox regular games, 
a broken controller, trash, a brand new Blu-ray DVD, Batman the Dark Knight, and a bunch of, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten trash CDs and games. We'll do these at a dollar each. We'll do these at five dollars, five dollars, and five dollars each. So if my math's right, that's one seventy-five for all the games and whatever I put over there. We'll put another fifteen bucks for these things. All right, two controllers, all the cords, PlayStation One, a memory card, more cords. Just another little item we picked up. Uh, we're going to get this all situated and sell the crap out of it. All right. So the next thing is we picked up all these posters, movie posters, comic book posters. I don't know posters. So we're going to go through these. There's about 35 of them. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I didn't count them. It was just the stack. So I picked them up. So we're going to go through these, we're going to look them up, we're going to check the values, see what they're worth. Uh, myself, personally, I've just started collecting little uh, tin cars, die-cast cars, old vintage cars. So I've also picked up a couple for my personal collection. Uh, they average in about $10 a piece, uh, but these are going to go on my shelf uh not too bad not too this one's missing the seat you can see the little hole there but other than that they're in pretty good condition uh as i said these are gonna go in my collection okay so we've got 28 posters in total uh all ranging from five dollars to twenty dollars uh, so I went ahead and I looked them up and I tagged them. This one is $20. It's the ring of Nebuling, whatever that is. Uh, we got a $10 one here. Uh, we have a $17 Punisher one here. Uh, another $10 Titans. Another $10. Uh, we have a $15 Rare, hard to find. Uh plan nine from out of space so yeah so we went through all these uh which is not too bad as i says anywhere from you know five dollars to twenty dollars but the exciting part is and you're gonna see this right now this poster right here is extremely rare and hard to find it's the man with the gold and gun blueberry edition uh, it's in excellent condition besides the normal creases and folds. Uh, so that doesn't take away from the value of this. This poster here is a $45 poster. So here is the exciting part of the poster hunt. This is a Silver Surfer poster vintage from 1988 see if i can get a better picture of it and that poster right there from 1988 silver server poster i could only find one anywhere online i found it on ebay for a hundred and thirty nine dollars mine is in just as good as condition as the one that i seen a little bit less so i'm gonna put it up for a hundred bucks take away the thirty nine dollars and bam and oh boy look at this 1968 tudor electric electric football game with all the pieces uh not expensive but it's a 45 dollar bill so we'll take that and it works we plugged it in and it works what do you know we got another one the red version 1968 to the true action electric football game 
a $40 bill. We are missing some of the parts, but not all of them. Uh, we did research these and $40, $40 bill here, $45 bill there. So I usually don't pick up poker sets, uh, but this one we had to because these are clay chips. Uh, with the newer version, they're composite clay, but you can tell by the sound and the weight of them that these are clay poker chips. So this set here is I'm going to replace the cards and put new cards in them. This is a $50 bill for this poker set here. I'm going to ask a little bit less. Uh, it's a nice case. Uh, I'm going to ask 40 bucks because the locks are broken. Uh, I'm not going to go out and buy new locks or nothing like that. But I'm going to ask 40 bucks for it. Well, that's our haul for a lovely Saturday. Uh, between all of our stops, we spent $143. And we are well over the $1,100 mark, uh, which is absolutely amazing. We went back to our favorite yard sale store. Uh, we'll put the their Facebook link in the description in case you guys want to take a ride over there. And we also found that amazing yard sale with Vanessa and Amanda. And as you saw in the video, they let you know where their flea market is. I can't wait to flea market season because I'm definitely heading down that way. Besides being fantastic people, they had amazing items there. If any of you guys saw anything in the video, uh, let me know. I, I'll, I'll shoot her a message. We change numbers. I'll grab it up for you. Uh, if you're in Pennsylvania, shoot on down to the Blue Ridge Salisbury Flea Market uh, right off of Route 33. We've also made some nice connections with uh, Amanda. She does vintage clothing and stuff like that. So we have a lot of clothing uh, we're going to send her way. Uh, Vanessa uh, is into video games and consoles and stuff like that. So we're going to keep an eye open uh, for Vanessa in case we come across any of that stuff. And both of them are going to look for items that I'm looking for. So it worked out perfect. We made some connections, we made some friends, and we had a great time. Besides making pretty decent money for 143 bucks. Uh, I'll do that every Saturday if I can. And right, so another thing I haven't said yet in these videos since I started doing this, if you see anything that I pick up you're interested, check out my eBay. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for the eBay. Uh, I put a lot of items on there. I think I've got over 100 items right now on eBay. Uh, so, yeah, the link will go in the description. And that's about it for the day. Uh, we're going to wrap this video up uh, and get it online. So, happy picking. And we'll see you soon, guys.